Okay. Well, I'm Sovereign Sage, trying to see if I can get this focused. Always, always a problem. Alright. So, where I left off last time, we were inside the Forsaken Fortress trying to save our sister. That does not happen, but okay. I'm using my controller instead of the gamepad. Seems to be a little easier for me. So if I feel like my turn on the joystick is a little slow, I don't know if there's a way I can turn that up. I don't think so. Because on the original GameCube, which is what this game used to be, it's a remake of a GameCube game, um, I don't remember there being any track speeds. Because with newer games, um, with newer games there is. But I don't even see an actual... See, there's not an option to increase the speed like there is with newer games. Like, you can increase the cursor speed and all that fancy crap, so... I mean, it's fast, but there are sometimes when I go to turn it, it feels like almost a little too slow. Normally when I play uh, my games, I always have the camera speed rotation, or the joystick ro rotation speed, I always have it, like, set to fucking high. I want that shit to spin like a star falling from the sky. Not really. I also have another one of my bad headaches. So, like I said, when I get these, I tend to be a little slower with stuff. Um, I might not finish what I'm saying. I might start talking about something and then cut myself off and forget completely what I was saying. Or forget what I had said. So, we're going to uh, work with that. Okay. He's like, I found my sword! Get a jump with spikes, oh my god. He's like, no you don't, little boy. Don't you come at me like that, Gibby. Oh, this camera angle's not ideal, oh my god. I win. Okay, that was like a super long zoom on, on absolutely nothing. So what I noticed about the, the Wii U version that the GameCube version used to do is when you would defeat an enemy, this little orb would show up with like a swirl in it and it would either be like a pinkish red, a green, or an orange. And if you hit the orb and break it, it would drop you items. It could be money, it could be joy pendants, it, it would just be random shit. And I realized this game hasn't been seeming to do that, maybe it does it later, but that was like an important feature that the... GameCube version had that I really liked. Now when you defeat enemies, they just drop all items on the ground. You don't have to hit the orb to break it. Maybe somebody complained about that and said it was tedious. They didn't want to break the orb to get items. They just wanted to defeat the, uh, the enemy and have them drop all the items like that. But I actually liked breaking the orbs and they were pretty to look at. It also made a sound. <laughs> Yo! It was like, ching, ching. Like every time it would change colors, it would make a noise. And I really liked that. I don't know why they got rid of it. So stupid. We have found our sister. There she is. So those two girls behind her wind up sw uh, swapping roles. Like one is poor of property and one is like a rich rich person. I was about to say a rich bitch. I don't know why I was going to say that. <clears throat> He's like, the inside of my mouth is blue and full of power. Pluck. Oh no, it's eating me. Yeah, that blonde girl's father winds up selling away all of his riches to get her back, and then the poor girl winds up becoming rich. You see her later on, like, wearing a dress and shit, and she looks really funny. And, like, her father takes over the other girl's father's house. I don't know why or how, but yeah. Hello, Ganondorf. We finally meet. He's like, chuck this poor boy to the river. Do it. Chuck him into the ocean. I 
like how Ganondorf nodded his head to the right, but the bird threw me to the left. Technically, it was the bird's right and Ganondorf's left. Wh whatever. You, you get where I meant. Like, the bird threw it in the opposite direction. I've been saved by a boat. Oh my god. Yeah. What do you want? He's like, I realized you had to drop the G to make your name work. This is now, what, the third game? Yeah, pretty much. Legend of Zelda games do not let you fit eight characters. Put yourself together! Huh? The sun being an enormous light in the sky. Oh. He's like, where am I? So he heard a voice and he wakes up and he looks around like, what? Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. How do you- you're breaking your neck to look at me. I can see the seams. You can see where it's like all twisted. Uh. Oh, oh. Just knocks himself out. Did I startle you? Yeah, I hit my head on this down thing, rudder in the back. I suppose it is only natural, as wide as the world is. I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. It's because you are a man yourself, you moron. I'm the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... <laughs> he obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. What is this music? This is Ganondorf's song. He likes to listen to it while flocklicking in the fucking flames. Okay. He, f he frolics in the fire and listens to this. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. By his evil fire dances. <laughs> Tell me, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. <laughs> Soka, you are a loser. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you go. Or where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess, you weak piece of shit. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that can wield only- that I can't read. That you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? Sure. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. I, uh, this is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, you'll surely you can find one of the, find somebody who can say, sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I, I will be useless to you. I can't read. The Island of Merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Waiting for that damn music to kick in. Get it, get it, get it, there it is. Okay. I have 135 rupees. I am rich. Too bad I can't skip these animations. Oh my god, that child's a loser. Get out of the way, child. Get the hell out of the way. If I remember correctly, that old guy there. No! 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 Ah! <laughs> That is that uh, lady with the that girl with the blonde hair. That's her. That's her uh, father, I think. 
Don't talk to me, you loser. So everybody has like their own gimmick on this island where they have like their own mission and you encounter them oddly. Yo. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds and the island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me, yes there was. But I dare say he was immediately arrested based on his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail, yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. You won't sell me anything until I save Tingle. You really are a dick. I know where he is. Don't talk to me, child. Don't talk to me, child. No, 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 no. He's in here, but I think I have to go through a secret passage door. Hey, son, how's it going? Yeah? No, okay, no, that's not it. It's just not it. And the problem is, that's not it. That isn't it either. Hello? Oh, dear, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and wholly absorbed in my dancing that I didn't even notice the little you standing there. Tolts? God, I can't see the text. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, three, yeah. Yeah, so if I have the waker, I can do the dance that he does, and it teaches you the wind song. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful young guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance, a dance that turned night into day right before my eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to uh, get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Yeah, if I have the waker, which I don't right now, but I'll come back later. I think there was a secret to get in the Tingle cell. Let's see. Hello? I like how it pushed him back. Did you see that? I see the same green clothes and the same green hat. But the look of you, I'd say, sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Wow. Goodness. Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Do not worry. Tingle knows without you telling him, sir. Yes, sir. Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind for I too long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet, I was mistaken for some kind of troublemaker and put into this dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. Please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle from this place and take him to where you and your kind live in Splendor. You know I can't do that, right? <sighs> Let me think on how I get back there, though. It's behind that crate. Let me think. Let me think, let me think, how, how? Oh, ha, hold. Yay! Oh my god. Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Isn't it like a bottle? Kalimpa. He always says the. I don't know why, he just does. Yeah, well, that's not going to do me a whole lot of good, is it? The me versus discontinued. <sighs> Just don't write anything unpleasant. Okay, bye. Returning now is his own special island. Will you come find him? Ah, I was forgetting something important. You want to come to my island, don't you, don't you, don't you? His island is like a f freak show. If you ever need help with your charts, just leave it to me. Yeah, so he can fill out charts for you later in the game. And if you'd like to give your tingle bottles that extra oomph that tingles crave, you can come check out the back of the sill. 
Yeah, I know. That's why I kept saying, how do I get back there? It's behind that box or something. And there was... Oh my god, please. I know, that doesn't mean anything to me. Not only that, the Miiverse has discontinued. Nintendo doesn't do that anymore. They shut it down when the Nintendo Switch came out. You can't even access the Miiverse at all. I'm freaking serious, you can't. They shut it down. Link, can you get in there? Just get in there. Isn't this for the Picto Box? I feel like it's for the Picto Box. If I go the wrong way, there's like this rat that like punches me in the face. He doesn't actually do that, but he might as well. I might have went the wrong way. Ah! You cheeky bastard. Oh, hello. Don't know why I'm here. Got to go back and try it again. I think what I, I should have did was took take a turn. And I didn't. Try it again. I think it's for the Picto box. I could be wrong. Either way, I have to do it. It's been like years since I've played this game, so I can't remember. I had a bad feeling about that when I came up to that one turn. And I was like, oh god, okay, go back. Go back. Okay, go forward. This way. There's a turn, not the wood parts. The wooden parts are where the rats hang out at. Like you can see it before you even come up on it. So this is where I went wrong. That turn right there. There we go. I was right, that turn was horrible. the picto box so you need that um man i hate how they don't let me use my sword um there's a guy on this island who wants you to take like a picture or something oh well there's like a lot of guys there's like this one guy who kind of looks like Wan Yu. um kind of not really but in a way and he wants you to take pictures like there's so much to do on these islands really you have like your main quest, and then you have like a bunch of side bullshit. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the Pictos box. I write down the controls for it in case of the. Yeah, so the guy who was in here, who was in prison, uh, it was his. He hid it back here. So if you read those stones. At last I have succeeded in stealing the pickle box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes, but sadly, due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been imprisoned, but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell and then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Yeah, he hid it and he was able to escape, but if I remember correctly, the guy never came back for it. <laughs> feel like I'm losing my hidden mind. Really feel like I'm losing my damn mind. <laughs> you evil rat, did you see him just staring me down? Man, this is making me claustrophobic y. And I'm kind of really not. Just, oh, just the thought of you being trapped in a little crawl space like that. Huh. 
I made it, I'm a hero. <laughs> are you the same kind of church or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me a little in a stroll around town? Our windfall may be a little cozy, so speak, but people from all over the world come here. Just walking around having a look at things is quite fun. That's the block of the great town. I don't know what you're going on about, but okay. Evil children. What do you think about my outfit? Do you don't you don't see clothes like this very often, do you? Oh, they're so cute. A friend of mine who lives on Outside Island sent them to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. I'm from there, you idiot. I know which girl she's talking about. The girl that puts the jars on her head, and I said that I call her he uh, Hinata. Yeah. Hey. You're looking for a sale? I know where it is, but like, give me a break. Really? You rescued him? That is news. I am deemed rather great. You have... Okay, I can't read. You are one stand-up individual indeed. You are. Now I apologize as I have but another favor. I'm actually considering starting up a little shop here on island, but I'm having a trouble funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. It's a flower. I'm gonna just skip all this shit. 80? Alright. Okay. Later on he has a flower that he's like, will you buy this shit? I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Feel like I'm losing my damn mind. Woo! Just roll onto that child. Ah, oh, that look in your eyes. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to the la 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 Yeah, we're going to Dragon Roost Island. Okay, where was Dragon Roost Island from here? I think it's over there. Oh, it's over there. <sighs> I can look to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it's in that direction. Yeah, it is. I like how it moves. When, like, when you select it, it doesn't really move, but when you're not selecting it, it kind of goes in a circle. You can tell it, it, it that's it based on the eye length, so it has like a, a ring of clouds around it. So some people didn't like this game. They didn't like the cartoonish look of it, and they also didn't like the whole sailing shit. I actually didn't mind. I, I like it better at nighttime though. You can't change it till nighttime until later. You learn a song, Song of Passing, from that guy on Windfall Island. He teaches it to you, but I don't have the waker yet, so mini game. Oh, I drove over it. Like the steering is rift. Like it's kind of rough. Like you go to turn, but it turns it turns late. It's like delayed. It's fine. Woo. Money. Yeah, the steering on this is kind of hard. Whatever. So that guy here on this ship over here, he sells stuff. I think that's him. I could be wrong. Is it you? Okay, hold on. Let me turn around. I'm trying. Like I said, it's kind of slow. Okay. Don't run me over. He sells this uh, bag thing in here that I need. You need it. Yeah, that little pig bag. Yeah, beetle. 
I want this. Woo! Thank you! Yeah. Membership card. Skip. Skip. So you need these later to get this fish. If you find this fish on the sea, he can um, fill out parts of your map for you and he discovers islands. And these are for the um, the birds to control them, the seagulls. And later on there's like a puzzle that shows up further in the game where you need them. How many can I carry? Click through all this shit. Okay. Trying to get them early. What? Try to buy stuff early because I, I, I'm going to be needing that later. So if I remember correctly, he gives you the the waker. Like it's like a baton. Uh, he gives it to you once you get to the island. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot to show you that you have magical wind powers. That's not really what he says, but it might as well be. It's kind of weird to play this on the Wii U because the controls are a little different. Oh, my mini game. So it locks me. That is our destination, Dragon Roost Island. I have this song remixed on Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and it's it's hilarious. Because in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, if you have music saved on your PS3, you can set it as the background music for stages. And I straight up did that. I have a techno remix of the song, and it's hilarious. Every time I show up on the stage, it just starts playing, and I'm like, yep. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Lulu. Yeah, we know this. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. That could be an innuendo. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct them three, four time. Yeah, this, when I first tried this, it confused me. Yeah. You just hold it. It's kind of like one of the songs you learn. Oops, you gotta hold it. My, none of that, my Wii U joystick is very sensitive. It's a controller, but even on the gamepad, it's super sensitive. I'll push directly down and it counts as me pointing to the side. Or even when I point, like, if you point up, it counts as me going to the side. That was not bad for your first time using the Wager, not bad at all. You can also conduct in six for a time, but yeah. Darkest imprisoning me. What are all I see? Raising my face. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go see the road, re road to people. I like bird people. Son of a bitch! Yeah. Feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm trying to spam the button to make him pick up the damn thing, but he just don't. Oh, I don't know how that did not hit him. Oh my god. I almost killed Link via bomb. Oh man, why? Why you do this to me? Link, no, what the fuck? Oh, okay, hit him that time. Fantastic. 